So Marvel's Avengers. <laughs> what can I say about this mixed bag of content? On one hand, I can't be mad about what I played because, well, I only paid $14.99 for the PS5 version thanks to Best Buy and their Black Friday sale. So I feel like I got my money's worth. But is this game as people make it out to be? Well, I've been playing this game nonstop for the past few days and I have some thoughts on it. So let's get into it. So first off, I remember when Square Enix showed this game off, I was really excited for this one. Not only was I excited because we were coming off the heels of Spider-Man PS4, but we also saw a bunch of MCU movies that were also great. So at that time, Marvel could do no wrong. Plus, it was being developed by a trusted developer, Crystal Dynamics, who was also responsible for the Tomb Raider reboot, which I was a huge fan of. So yeah, the game was checking all the correct boxes for me, and I was excited to see what was in store. So as time went on, I kept hearing how Marvel's Avengers was a mess, the repetitive combat, the beat Yes, microtransactions and just the game being an overall mediocre experience. So I held off on playing the game for a while, but the curiosity would always creep up when I would see gameplay. So I finally got the game for myself on the PS5 and well, let's take a look. So starting with the plot. The game really isn't focused on the main Avengers, but more so on Miss Marvel, aka Kamala Khan. Now, if you knew nothing about this game and strictly went by the marketing materials, you would think the entire game would be like the opening fight scene, but it's not. But the game starts off with Kamala going to the Avengers Day event in San Francisco. Things take a turn for the worse, and it's up for the Avengers to jump into action. Now, unfortunately, the Avengers were not successful in stopping the massive destructive event. As a result, the media pretty much publicly destroyed destroyed the Avengers and due to the events of San Francisco, it has caused a rise of Inhumans and Miss Marvel aka Kamala is one of them. So here we are trying to discover the truth of what happened on that day. A day. So the plot in itself is fine. Nothing we have not seen before, but for the most part, I enjoyed the story for what it was. There were some great moments here and there, like the fight with Taskmaster on the bridge as Black Widow, or Miss Marvel being chased by the Hulk trying to retrieve Captain America's shield. I love those moments. The only issue I had with the story that it seemed to drag on for a little longer than it needed to, but it was enjoyable overall. Now the gameplay. <laughs> this is where we start to take a turn for, well, Eh, let's see. The gameplay starts off great. You're playing as each one of the main Avengers and learning each of their playstyles, and you think, wow, this whole game must be like this. But uh, no. I will say I really enjoyed the gameplay of Black Widow and Captain America, and even the Hulk. I love the pure sense of power you feel while playing the Hulk, and since I'm on PS5, you feel every hit, every jump, and all the vibrations, so it's definitely a great experience. Now, my issue is this, the enemy types and the combat in the campaign gets very repetitive about midway through and it doesn't do enough to really keep the player's attention or engagement long term. I felt bored while playing it after a while and I think that's when I started to realize the faults that this game has. Not taking anything away from the story or plot because I still find it entertaining, but as a video game... Eh. Now, if you're playing this on a newer console or PC, you have some options in terms of gameplay modes, fidelity, and performance. Now, if you know me, I will always choose performance and frame rate over graphics, and I'm glad I did. The 60 FPS combat is super smooth, and everything felt responsive and quick, making for some very fun moments. Now, besides the story and plot, the main draw to this game is the online aspect, and I won't lie, it is very fun to run around as your favorite Avenger and destroy things left and right. I personally really come to love Captain America and his playstyle, so that's why I roll with through my online time. Man, when you can get some friends together in on the action, it can make for some good mindless fun. So my issue with the online, just like the campaign, the game can get very repetitive really quick. As much as I love tossing my shield at enemies' heads, it gets old, which makes me only want to play this in small bursts. I also really really hate the hyper focus on microtransactions. There is no way that I know of to unlock new skins, finisher moves, and more without coughing up real life currency. And no, I'd rather not. So Marvel's Avengers in 2021 going into 2022, is this game worth at least $15? I would say 
Sure. If I would have paid full price for this though, I would have been a little salty, but considering I did not, thank goodness for Black Friday, I feel like I had enough fun with it to say that it was worth the price. Is it as bad as people say? Based on how repetitive the game is and how there's so many microtransactions baked in with no alternative, I totally understand the issue people have. Will I revisit this game when Spider-Man is at it? Eh, if you guys want to see that, I can, but, mm. but until then, I thank you all for watching and happy holidays.